Good morning, Illini. Stand by in three, two. Good morning, Illini. I'm Jillian Kaler. And I'm Nina Flores. We have so much in store for you on this morning's edition of GMI. In the next 30 minutes, we will have a special guest from local barbecue restaurant, Wooden Hog. Plus, we will have some models in the studio showcasing this year's spring fashion trends. All this and more, so stay tuned. And good morning, Illini. Now, we also have some breaking news coming up, so um, we don't really know. We have a new mascot. This is a huge wow. thing. Oh, my gosh. We're just getting word from this in now. Oh, my gosh. What? I don't know if this is official or not. Let's see. Um, <laughs> okay, this is a joke. This, you know what? I don't know what I think about this. I don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to call this. Like the Blue Elmo or something? Is it the Monsters? I, you know what? I have no idea. Well, maybe we'll get down to this um, in the next 30 minutes. Yes. So um, we will be right back with GMI. Oh, well. Oh, oh. my gosh. Okay. Really, guys? Thank you, everybody in the studio, for pulling our legs. That yes. was a great way to start the morning, freaking us out, because that was the... I'm April Fool's. Speechless, okay. <laughs> Glad that's not our mascot. Well, yeah, anyways, no. um, we will be back um, for CU90 um, in the next 90 seconds where we take a look at our local news stories from the week. That community around Central High School in Champaign may be getting a new look. We haven't even hired officially the architects to start that process. What used to be a window of an Urbana home is now a warning sign. Couches, toilets, and bags of clothing are just some of the items that have been collected at 504 South Dodson Drive. We've been moving as quickly as we can, and again, right now, we're not even certain where we're going to get the funding to uh, demolish or do whatever it is to begin with the property. First responders in the area will begin training next month on how to treat canine injuries while en route to here, the University of Illinois Veterinary Teaching Hospital. Because of all the opioid overdoses we're having and the things like that, um, it could definitely be an issue at any time. So we want to get on top of it and get trained and be ready to take care of them if, if the need arises. It's a surprisingly large number of cases in a 300-person school. That's in part because whooping cough is highly contagious. The thing is if a child develops a cough, Parents really do need to take that child to a physician right away. We will be voting on whether to sell the nursing home or to raise the property tax by a small amount. The team began the Big Ten conference schedule on Friday with a bang as senior pitcher Brianna Wonderly tossed just the 12th no-hitter in program history. All blessed and one out of the park. Big Ten play will start this weekend. We are back and we're celebrating April's National Poetry Month a day early here at GMI. GMI's Lauren Scafidi sat down with DJ Pelmore to help us kick off the month. Oh, well, so sorry. We're having some issues um, just with that playback. So now we're going to take a look at our weekend weather. Good um, yes. Actually, okay. okay, so we are now going to be playing... Um, this um, for our new poet for this editions of um, CU um, for our open Good mic. Good morning, Illini. My name is Lauren Scafidi, and I am here with our open mic guest this week, DJ Palmore. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear your poem. What are you going to be performing today? Um, today I'll be performing one of my uh, older pieces. I actually I wrote it like a month ago. It's called uh, ADHD. And what inspired you to write ADHD? Honestly, this was something I was writing for class, uh, for my um, creative writing class, and yeah, that was that, and it just ended up going somewhere totally different. And like, I was just like, man, I could just, I could, I could honestly perform this to people. So, I, so, so I, so I kind of made this one of the pieces that's not personal. I kind of made it an open piece. So. Okay. 
Okay, I guess, you know, each story kind of has its own story of right. how it got started and everything. But for your other stories, do you sit down and say, okay, I'm going to finish this poem today? Or do you kind of just think of things as they come to you during the day and put them together? How does that work? Um, more or less, it's just as it, it's just, it's just as it comes to me. Sometimes I'll just have those days where I just want to sit down and write. Because typically those days, there's just some on my mind. I just want to. I just want to write about it, but I'm usually inspired by like events that happen in the world, or just maybe if I just want to write something. Mm -hmm. So it just it, it kind of just happens as it comes to me, you know. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. How did you get started doing this in the first place? Um, there was an event last year, uh, a local event called Echoes of Emmett, and that was it wasn't the first time I ever wrote poetry. It was the first time I ever did a spoken word and performed it. And then ever since then, I just fell in love with it and I just kept doing it. Now I can't stop. It's like an addiction. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. Is this something that you want to keep doing the rest of your life? I know you're a senior in high school about to graduate here in Champaign. Is mm -hmm. this something that you want to take with you to college? Definitely, definitely. It's not, I, I, won't be, uh, I won't be doing any creative writing classes. I'm going to be doing audio engineering for uh, music. But but I'm definitely going to continue to write poetry because it's, it's just something I love to do. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a part of who I am, so I'm going to keep at it. And it's free therapy. And it's free therapy, yeah. so hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here, DJ. I cannot wait to hear your poem later today. Glad to be here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, and we will have that poem coming up for you in a couple minutes. Thank you so much, Lauren. We just want to take a moment to apologize. Kind of a rocky start this morning. You know, we're... Still a little tired from spring break travels, back and ready to go this morning. So now, let's get really into the show. Yes, and let's take a look at our weekend weather. Seems like we have a good weekend coming up. We, have, we do have some showers today with a high of 48, so not too bad, but not the best. And it's going to be 57 on Saturday and really sunny and nice, so that's great. And then on Sunday, it looks like some more showers are coming in with a high of 62 and a low of 50. Getting that spring weather already. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so stick with us, Illini. We have a lot more coming up. Including our very own Gwendolyn Pepin, who will be joining us with a few of her fashion forward friends. Plus, our U of I knowledge will be put to the test. We'll be right back. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her. Don't worry, sweetie. This is going to happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. This is the story of a boy who is very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Start a story. Adopt at the shelterpetproject.org. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Our very own Lauren Scafidi talked with local high school student DJ Pelmore last night for this week's unique edition of Open Mic. Light and dark are equivalent to day and night. But what do you call that time of day when the sky is pink and you look up and you just think, hey, this is an artsy pick. But that time is neither dark nor light. It's just somewhere in between, right? But then again, you could ask the same thing about life. 
if you're not wrong and then you're right and if you're not left well you're right you see people often tell us how to live life they'll say whatever you say is wrong whatever i say is right but that's typical of those right They'll try to tell you that if you live this type of life, that you'll be happy. But what does that even mean? Happy. Happiness is the feeling you get when you just got out of school and after eight hours a day for a good 200 plus days, you feel that first summer sun ray. Happiness is when you're alone and it's been a long day and that one person hits your phone up just like, hey, big head. Happy is something that you feel when you get home and you feel your body relax when you lay down in your bed. It's wild, isn't it? Happiness is something so big that comes from things that are so small. H-A-P-P-Y, five letters say it all. Happiness is a father and son playing ball. Or people will have an in-depth conversation with other people when there's really nothing to conversate about at all. But when your happiness is low, who do you call? When life is getting you down and there's nobody to catch you fall? What can you do when all you want is love and appreciation, but you can't find none? Just know that there is always something to be done. It starts with love from yourself. It's as simple as always. Remember, you are number one and second to none. The price for fun is life, and you only get one. And it's been 18 long years, and my life has only begun. There's so much to do, and there's so much to see, and it's so hard to focus because I don't know where I'm going to be. Trapped in between handheld supercomputers and water and brain cells due to my ADHD. Living my life in HD so maybe people can see me for who I want to be and not what they want me to. See what I want to do is stay true and be free. But there's a foot on my chest and it's pressing my lungs and I'm struggling to breathe. They try to pin me down and they try to cut off my wings but I'm carefree. I spread them and fly. I kiss the sky and I let everyone below know that this world is mine. Just let me shine. I'm flying blind. I can't make up my mind. Man, I should probably get back on my meds. All of these distractions from my ADHD are really starting to get to my head. But I got to stay fed so I eat my daily bread. I stay focused and keep a level head and tell myself to be proud, young man. Because your ADHD is finally dead. Talk about some talent. Cannot believe he's only a senior in high school. <laughs> well, joining us now is GMI's own Wendelin Pepin here to show us what some of the biggest trends are going to be this spring. Hi, good morning, Illini. I'm Gwendolyn Pepin. I'm here to show you what trends are happening this spring season. So the first spring, um, first day of spring just sprung upon us, and with the new season comes new fashion. Now I have a beautiful and talented model. Come on in, Erin. <laughs> Hello, Erin. Yes. <laughs> so I personally love 70s-inspired looks. And Erin, you're giving me, like, beautiful woman, 1975, going for mimosas on brunch. Like, I love the flowy shirt. I think the color is a beautiful color. It pops in your skin. Um, I love these bell bottoms. I think they're fun. And I love how they go with the platform heels to really complete the look. Now, can you take off your shade? <laughs> I Ooh, love, yeah, love I it. I love the pink shadow. Love it. And I love the glitter, too. I think it looks really good on your skin. I think it complements the shirt and definitely the heels. It all kinds of, and your nail polish is cute, too. And can you put the Perfect. shade back on? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so another thing that I noticed with um, the season are like lightly tinted shades. Yes, like, like the rose colored. Yeah, yes. I think it's really pretty. Aviator style is always very cute. Yes, absolutely. I had some, like, orange aviators. I lost them. Oh, yeah, it was really a tragedy. Sad. Yeah, a lot of them get on the spring break, annoying. <laughs> but um, they look great on Erin. So yeah, can you do a spin do. for us? 360, love it. Do a little strut. What a star. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Perfect. so I happened to dress up too. Absolutely. Yeah. Love your look as well. Thank you. So I really like this dress because it has a little like flower child like look to yeah. it. But also it's kind of flowy. has like mm -hmm. a girl next door type of look. But you can also like spice it up with heels like these. Absolutely. I, I also love, love the in style of like, the wide sleeve yeah. that is so big this season. Yeah. So that is super cute. Yeah, and no. then the square neckline yeah. as well. That's a unique look. Yeah, and I like the mixture of texture too. Kind of the flowy yeah. dress yeah. and like I the, like how you put the, the velvet. Shoes. Yeah. I, and velvet is like huge, it's taking yeah. off this season, it seems like. Yeah, for sure, I have like a yellow velvet jacket, like velvet tops in the closet. Amazing, wow. so yeah. any tips for Align Eyes at home for just some uh, ways to tie all these looks together? I say go with the bright colors for your makeup. Um, I like pink, but I also like orange too. I kind of experimented with that over spring break. Um, I think that looks really good on like brown skin tones too. Absolutely. Um, and I like flowy things, as you can see from Erin's shirt and my dress. Yes. 
Um, and just have fun. That's the most important thing. And like, express yourself. That's what fashion is all about. That is what fashion. It's yeah. the perfect. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for coming in. The looks are great. And thank you. hopefully the campus will be following suit with some hopefully trends so. <laughs> all thank around you. campus. Well, now let's take a look at um, the weather again for this weekend. We have um, quite a rainy day going on today, this Friday, with a high of 48 and a low of 35. And Saturday we'll have 57 and sunny, so it's going to be great. And then ending out the weekend, we have some more showers, high of 62 and a low of 50. Well, we have got a lot more in store coming up after this break. We've got Boyd and Hog owner in the studio, and he'll be giving us a taste of some champagne barbecue. And we're going to be putting our Illinois knowledge to the test. We'll see how well we can do with that. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So they say it's a man's world. I don't see anybody's name on it. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way. Starting with attendance. Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. I got this. Is that brand? Colleges love extracurricular activities. Yeah, chess really isn't my thing. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us. We go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to getschooled.com for more info. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, uh -oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Joining us now in the studio is Michael McDonald, owner of Champagne's Barbecue Spot, Wooden Hog. So, Michael, thank you so much for being here today. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in the whole restaurant barbecue business. Okay, first of all, thanks for the invite. Um, and I appreciate you guys giving us the opportunity and also a platform to reach out to the university campus as an alumni. So I started, um, I came here in 1999 oh, as a student nice. yeah. and I made champagne our home. Um, make a long story short, we started barbecue nine months ago, my sister and I. Oh my and, goodness. Um, it was just a, a vision, an opportunity, um, just an opportunity to work for ourselves. So yeah. And I, thought, and I thought to myself, what better way to work when you work with somebody you can trust, absolutely, that you can grow with, and that, right. You know, oh, that so. is so wonderful. So, why barbecue? Well, I, I, I personally believe that barbecue is important for us because most of my friends and family and associates would travel 120 miles to get that Chicago-style barbecue. Yes. So this was a great opportunity for us um, to bring that taste to Champaign Urbana. Yeah, and to bring it so close to campus yes. too. Yes. So what kind of stuff do you guys serve on the menu? Oh wow. Um, <laughs> pork rib tips, oh. turkey tips. Um, Making me hungry. Ribs, <laughs> chicken, fish, um, a plethora of stuff. We have a lot of sides, macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, Oh my cabbage. gosh. Now so. do you have a particular favorite? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I personally enjoy the jerk um, oh. rib tips. Um, it's a rub, um, it's smoked. Um, for three or four hours. Yeah. But it's really spicy and it's really good. So. Oh, amazing. Oh my gosh. Now, I know you said you run this with your sister, so yes. what is it like kind of balancing work with family? It's, it's, it's unique and it's yeah. interesting, but we get along, we don't argue. Um, my sister 
it's like my adopted mother so um it's just one of those things that it kind of worked out the way it should have worked out oh, um so we don't have any issues very so far nice, nine months nice. in no issues <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are just north of campus correct yes, so we're on fourth and tremont so if you take university and go north once university um you can find us we're located on a small strip mall but if you can't find it, you should just follow your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you could definitely smell oh. the barbecue from a mile away. Thanks. Thanks. That is wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for joining us today. It's okay. been an absolute pleasure. And also debuting today, we have a new segment with GMI Steffi Drucker. I'm a senior in journalism. We are just a few quick weeks away from graduation, so it's time for seniors to start buckling down and checking off items on their bucket list. My number one item is to take a tour or play the bells from the famous Altgeld Bell Tower. So let's go inside and see if we can find it. Unfortunately, the bell tower is closed for construction, but don't worry, I have another idea in mind to check off my bucket list item. That was Hail to the Orange on the virtual Altgeld Chimes. You can consider this bucket list item checked off. So we are joined in the studio with GMI Steffi Drucker. And so let's see how Steffi Drucker. Yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to put your guys' Illinois knowledge to the test. Absolutely. Yes. A little pop quiz this morning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I'll start you off with an easy one. Okay. First question is, what year was the university founded? I know. 1867. Very good. And everyone <laughs> should remember that because you've probably seen it everywhere. We're celebrating our sesquicentennial, which that is crazy, crazy word. Word. Today, 150th birthday. So super old. Yes. 150 years of wonderful <laughs> wow. history. All right. Uh, so let's go back to the year right after that, 1868. How much was in-state tuition in 1868, do you think? I don't know, but I'm going to make a guess. Um, I'm going to say like 10 cents or something. 10, 10 cents. cents? That's a little low. <laughs> if only, cents. right? 25, a quarter. <laughs> no, no, not quite. No. It was about $15, which today oh is equivalent gosh. to like... For a full year. Yeah, for a full year, which is about $217. So you know, how much do you think out-of-state tuition was? Oh, my gosh. 30 Yeah, maybe $30? Close. You're a little high on that one. It was $20, $20 which today is about $289. Wow. So oh, my gosh. Big, big difference, Talk right? about inflation. Times have changed, exactly. <laughs> All right, now two Illinois alumni were the founders of a major social media network. Which one was it? Hmm. I'm going to say maybe LinkedIn? No. Nina? Um, well, it's not Facebook. It's <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg? No, we all know that one. Um, um, I don't know. No idea. YouTube. YouTube. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. No it was way. By two Illinois alumni named Steve Chen and Jawed Kareem, and oh they both gosh. majored in computer science here. Well, good oh. for them. Yeah. Talk about a bragging That's right awesome. for us. Yes, incredible. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fabulous Illinois alumni, but those are just two cool ones. Wow. Now, another Illinois alum, um, he was a chemical engineer, chemical engineering alum, and he invented one of the most popular cereal brands. So, what hmm. cereal was that? Lucky Charms. No. Uh, for Loops. <laughs> no. Cheerios. Cheerios. Oh, yes, and I enjoyed a bowl of Cheerios myself this morning. I like the apple cinnamon, I think it's called. Apple cinnamon. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That's awesome. Delicious. Cheerios and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Talk about just amazing. Now, <laughs> keeping with the theme of famous alumni, what famous children's book author was expelled from the University of Illinois? Oh, my gosh. Children's Breaking news, author. expelled? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shoot, I don't know. What about the one that writes, um... The one, the very hungry caterpillar. I think his name's Eric. 
Don't know the last name. I I'm love gonna, that book. I'm going to guess it's not that one. I don't one. remember <laughs> that author. No, it wasn't him. I don't have any guesses. All right. It was <laughs> Shel Silverstein, who I'm oh, sure. Oh, is that, that the Giving read. Tree and uh, poet. the poet? Mm -hmm. Yes, the poet. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you've read him reading uh, growing up. Now, bonus point. Why do you think he was expelled? Oh my gosh. Hmm. You could probably um, guess this one. What is it? Something I don't to think do so. with like academic integrity? No, not academic integrity. He got poor grades. Oh. So, yeah. Well, you know what? That's a true Gotta testament. Keep you just up. keep going, though, yeah. and you can become a best-selling poet. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. Now, who cut the cake at the dedication ceremony of the Illini Union? Oh, 19 who cut famous the cake? figures. Wait, hmm. what year was it? Uh, the dedication of the Illini Union. Okay. That's what we're looking um, for. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see. Maybe President Roosevelt? Very, very president. close. So It was a president. Oh my gosh, no. I don't oh. know. It was a president's wife, so it was oh. then Flotus Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor oh, wow, Roosevelt. You were so close. Kind of close, kind of no, close. I want to know is what <laughs> flavor the cake was. Flavor. We'll have to oh my do gosh. That research later. Well, thank you so much, Steffi, for taking the time to do this. Yeah, I think definitely. I'm a lot more enlightened now yeah, about same. the U of I. Wonderful. Well, let's take one last look at the weather for the weekend. Um, and when we get back, thank you so much. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education, what are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else? Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got skills, the smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you gonna make of yourself? What are you gonna make of me? Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. So as most Illini know, Mom's Weekend is next week, so we have a very special or segment we are excited to announce that we are going to do next Friday on Good Morning Illini. We have our moms coming in. That's awesome. I am so excited. My mom is taking the bus down Thursday wow. night, ready to get up bright and early for the Good Morning Illini show. So we're going to wow. have some moms of the, um, so of the mom's cats. Coming. My mom is coming, and oh. she is looking forward to ah, it. So that's yeah. going to be so fun. Will your mom be here? No, unfortunately. Oh. She has to work. Oh, of I course. Her to come, but. but you know what? And then Mom's Weekend will be coming up, so that is so exciting. So, yeah, so stay tuned for next week, and we will be ready for that. And we're going to take a look at your weather for the weekend one last time. Absolutely. So, so today we have those showers going on with a high of 48 today. And tomorrow, or I mean, yes, tomorrow, we're going to have a 57 degrees. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. And then Sunday, unfortunately, it looks like we're getting some more showers oh, in there. But um, we'll have a high of 62, which is not it's too shabby. Up. I know. It's going yes. up, right? Spring. And then our low of 50. So, yes. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us, guys. Illini. But not to worry, because we have one more surprise in store. It is our very own Nina's birthday. So we thank have you. a big surprise for Nina. Happy 22nd to oh her. We God. have a cake. Yay. Thank you, guys. 22 is a big year. <laughs> Do you have any I'm plans? I'm feeling 22. You're feeling, tw I'm feeling as Taylor 22. Swift would as say. As Taylor Swift, you know. Do you have big uh, plans for the weekend? Well, celebrating with some friends, going out to dinner, you know, then probably going out later. The usual. The usual. The, the usual. usual. Well, feeling very old, though. Feeling old. Well, that's <laughs> okay. So old. You don't look a day over 21. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank and you, Illini, for joining us this morning. We are so happy um, that you guys tuned in. And yes. um, again, a very happy birthday to our very own Thank Nina. you, guys. Thank you for the cake, everyone. I love chocolate, so. <laughs> and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and double tap on Instagram. And remember, yes. all our videos will be shown on YouTube after the show, so you can go ahead and share those with your friends. And if you or someone you know would like to be featured on any of our segments, let us know on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Well, <laughs> Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone, and good morning, Illini. And happy birthday, oh, Nita. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.